Hi, Kazim here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a digital wallet, which is an electronic version of your physical wallet that you can use to store, receive, and transfer digital currencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and so on. There are many digital wallet platforms that you can choose from. However, the digital wallet app that I'm going to be showing you today is MetaMask. MetaMask is a digital wallet that you can use from any browser on your PC, or you can download it as an app on your mobile device. Now let's see how to set up MetaMask and how to put it to use. If you want to use MetaMask from your PC or your laptop, you open any web browser and type in www.metamask.io, just like you can see on the screen here. Choose the web browser that you're using. In this case, I'm using the Firefox web browser. So I'll be sure to select Firefox and click on Install MetaMask for Firefox. And by the way, this also applies to Chrome, Edge, or any other web browser that you're using. I'll click on Continue to Installation, and I'm going to add this as an extension to my Firefox. So I'll click on Add. All right. Now that we've added MetaMask as a plugin to our Firefox browser, let's click on Get Started. If it's your first time using MetaMask on the system, it's going to present you with these two options. Option one is to import your wallet, and option two is to create a new wallet. It's our first time of using MetaMask, so we'll go with this option here, Create a Wallet. Enter in a strong password that is of minimum eight characters. Here on the screen, you can learn a little bit more about how to secure your wallet. I'm just going to skip this for now and click next. Next, you're going to be prompted to copy your secret phrase. So if I click on reveal secret words here, I'll find some list of secret words that I can use whenever I need to restore my MetaMask account. Next, you're going to be prompted to copy your secret phrase. So if I click here, the secret words is going to be revealed to me. This should be kept somewhere very safe and not be shared with anyone. The phrase is important because if you forget your password or you're trying to use MetaMask on another device, you're going to be prompted for these secret words. Here, you will need to confirm your secret recovery phrase by selecting each of the words that you have been presented in the previous screen. So I'll go right ahead now and select the word and click on confirm. Once you've completed the process, you can click on all done and now log in to MetaMask. At the top here, you can see your address. So I can copy this and paste it here for you to see what it looks like. So this is your address, which will act as your bank account number. And anytime you need anyone to send you money, you will need to share this address with them. I want to show you how to add the BTC token to MetaMask wallet. So let's do it. I'll try to fund my wallet with some Bitcoin. I'll do this from an exchange platform called Binance. As you can see here, I have some BTC coin. So what I want to quickly do here is to convert this BTC to wrapped BTC. And I'll do that by clicking on convert. Choose BTC and we're converting our BTC to, to wrapped BTC. BTC wrapped. I'm going to enter an amount, preview the conversion, and go right ahead to convert. The conversion is now successful. I'm now going to go right ahead to withdraw this WBTC into my MetaMask wallet. So to do that, I'll click on withdraw. Choose the coin that I wish to withdraw. In this case, BTC wrap. I need to go copy my MetaMask address. Paste it here. Network is Ethereum and I wish to transfer the maximum amount and click on withdraw. We're now being prompted for verification for security purposes. 
So I'll go ahead and attend to this. Click on complete. If for some reasons you'd like to check out the status of your transaction, you can click on the transaction ID link from here. Clicking on it will redirect us to etiscan.io, which is the blockchain explorer for Ethereum. From here, we're able to see the exchange platform address where the money was transferred from and the address that the money was transferred to, which is my MetaMask wallet, the amount that was transferred and the transaction fee that was charged by Binance. Now let's confirm that we can see the transferred currency in my MetaMask wallet. I'll go to MetaMask and yes, I have it now in my MetaMask wallet. So I can choose to do anything that I want to do with my Bitcoin from here. So if I wish I can use it to buy things, I can send it to people and I can also choose to swap it for another token if I want. Congratulations. You now know how to set up a digital wallet and fund it with cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching and if you found this video useful, remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.